wonderful viewers that are watching. This is the uh, Youth Banta Basho live here uh, on Gambian Talent Promotion. Uh, as we said, uh, this is the Youth Banta Bar where we discuss about crucial issues that are affecting youths and children in our society. And uh, last week, uh, we were discussing about uh, teenage pregnancy. And, uh, the program was so interesting to an extent that our viewers that were watching said that well, they need the topic back so that we can discuss about it. So that is why today uh, we deem it necessary again to talk about this issue or this topic. Um, remember, as I said last week, that um, when it comes to teenage pregnancy, this is one of the uh, burning issues that are affecting youths in our society, most especially young guys uh, at our age. So, uh, but sometimes people tend to sideline such issues. So. Um, in here in the Youth Bantaba show, we are going to discuss about it. And I said uh, the last time that this Youth Bantaba show is not only about Umi and Mariam, but uh, this is all about everybody. It is going to be diverse where we uh, we are not going to um, leave anyone behind. We are going to include everybody, uh, starting from our parents, uh, our brothers, our sisters, and then even the younger kids too are part of the Youth Bantaba show. So um, last week we had a guest uh, on our studio uh, who where uh, uh, the people coming from the uh, Help Civil Clinic Mothers Foundation. And uh, last week they did a very wonderful program and then they talked about um, what the foundation um, is doing towards the national development of, uh, uh, of uh, Gambia. So today also, uh, we are here back with them and then we're going to talk about the same topic. So I will just allow Umi to introduce our guests um, here today and then uh, we get into the topic uh, more in depth. Thank you, Mariam. Uh, she has highlighted some of the points uh, of the topic, which is teenage pregnancy. As we know, each and ed every individual is affected either directly or indirectly. Yeah, and then uh, last week we had our uh, guests uh, from Help Single F uh, Mothers Foundation, and today also they are here with us. And you have on my right hand side, you have Lam Indiba, who is the head of the assessment team. And also next to me, you have Margo Beer, who is also a member of the foundation. And you also have uh, the, the founding father or the president of the foundation, who is no other person than Basir Sani. I welcome you all to the show. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, thank you very much for me. Uh, as I said, um, last week we were discussing about um, teenage pregnancy. And you, uh, sometimes we tend to sideline such um, uh, um, issues because most of the time uh, this happened to the young girls. And when um, this uh, happened to uh, these young girls, we tend to sideline or then say that we are going to um, uh, discuss it at a family level. And uh, we've seen many scenarios whereby these things are happening and these young girls are being stigmatized in our society. Sometimes they've been pointing finger. Sometimes, you know, they've been labeled in, 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 in various um, words and then various ways. So um, th that is why it is very important for us to talk about it. Every time we talk about other issues like t um, child marriage, child neglect, and this is goes on. But also it's important for us to talk about teenage pregnancy here in our studio. And as I said to me, uh, you see last week, this topic was so interesting that viewers were like, these people need to come back again and discuss about this topic because the topic is very, very important. So uh, we will not, I'll, I'll, I'll just allow you to uh, um, uh, give a, a, a brief in-depth and then um, ask our guests what we have, what they have for us again today. Okay, without which, uh, wasting much of our time, I'll just allow Bastiri to, to do a quick introduction of himself, mm -hmm. and then we'll move on to the other question. Um, thank you very much uh, for inviting us here again. Mm -hmm. uh, last week we were here, and then uh, really we feel that the time was very short for us to discuss all what we have, mm -hmm. uh, but we invited us here again, and will give us the opportunity to uh, continue with the discussion that we had last uh, time. Mm -hmm. um, uh, last week, although I gave the introduction of uh, how the foundation came to be about, mm -hmm. and uh, right now I can tell you, every day you had you know, issues of teenage pregnancy, and then uh, at the moment, we are being contacted uh, with uh, a lot of cases that are already you know, uh, on the ground down there. Mm -hmm. But so far, we are working with only seven families, and uh, we hope in, you know, in the future we will continue with the other families as well mm -hmm. because we are looking uh, a way also in which we can collaborate with other institutions and uh, other partners as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Thank you, Basil. Um, I just want you to tell us or tell the viewers that mm -hmm. are watching, uh, why uh, do you, why did you choose uh, a teenage pregnancy as an issue instead of any other issue? Because uh, there are a whole lot of issues that are going on in the government. Mm -hmm. Issues like FGMC, issues like child marriage. But you, 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 you chose. Uh, I mean, teenage pregnancy. Why do you want to? fight the issue of teenage pregnancy in the Gambia? Well, there are several regions, uh, but one among them is uh, I look at an area where people are not talking about, an area also which is not an issue that we are sidelining, but it's something that is very, very, very important. Mm -hmm. If you could remember during uh, our placements as social worker, many people were calling uh, trying to find out uh, how we can uh, help each other in the given advice or counsel about how to handle cases of teenage pregnancy for some of us who were within the health uh, center. Mm -hmm. So based on that, I said that, uh, look, this is something that is worrying, and then people are not seeing it. So why not we come up with something so that we can uh, discuss it and then try to reach the affected family and then discuss on such issue. Mm -hmm. So that was the reason why we come up with this. And uh, to other areas like FGM and other issues, I think we have a lot of foundation or organizations that are focusing in that area. Okay. So we want to look at the area where uh, they are not uh, much engaged in. Okay. Yeah. Okay, uh, thank you very much, uh, Basiru, for that. And uh, as you mentioned, that, um, when it comes to FGM and then other issues, we have been discussing about it. And, uh, but in this case, it's very, very important. And I think, uh, we also have uh, one of your members here yeah. uh, by the name. Magubi. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, yes. Uh, my question would be, um, uh, you, you've been a member of Help Single Teenage Mothers Foundation. Uh, actually, I don't know how you come up uh, to be a member, but I want to know, and then I think viewers do want to know, what inspired you uh, to, 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 to join this foundation? Well, thank you for your question. Um, I met Bashiru a couple of months ago and he was doing such an amazing job. He's also a psychologist and I was amazed by his commitment and his you know, creative ideas and when he told me about this foundation, I just thought it was the straight right way uh, to fight this issue by going to his families and um, also deal with the social aspect, economical aspect, the health aspect. Um, educational aspect of the girls so they're really trying to to get all the sense of the situation and really tackle all the different issues with the family for the family mm -hmm. and um, I went with them a couple of times to see how they were working and I was very impressed by their work um, Bashiru is an amazing uh, and very mm -hmm. hard-working psychologist and all his team are so good and committed that I was like, okay, I need to be part of this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, since then, yes, I, I'm really enjoying the work, meeting all those people, um, helping those girls. This issue is taboo in every society. I mean, I'm from Belgium, it's the mm -hmm. same. We have cases of teenage pregnancy everywhere in every country. Mm -hmm. But in the Gambia, as you said, you have this tradition of being silent. And um, I know there, those teenage mom are going through a very hard time mm -hmm. Um, in their family also, but also at school. And we need to make sure that they don't feel alone and they feel supported by their family, by us, by their peers. So that's the work of the Foundation. I'm very proud to be part of this. Yeah, that is quite interesting. Uh, again, too, I just uh, want to uh, throw another question to you. You've made mention that you've been working with Basiru uh, uh, in several cases and the like. So I want to know, uh, how, how do you feel when you first attempt a case or when you first went with them uh, in, the, in the field? And uh, how do you see those victims? Because sometimes they feel reluctant as to, um, to tell you about their, their, their condition that they are going through. Or sometimes uh, they can even um, feel reluctant to tell you what they are facing. Mm -hmm. Because uh, a, a stranger, you know, that you, you, you don't know or you've never come across and just come to you today and say, well, Mariama, uh, I, I want to know uh, what is disturbing you or what is bothering you in this case? So yeah. how, how do you able to tackle all this? Well, I think it's um, teamwork and we're going step by step. I try to make myself more like an observant and uh, making sure they agree that I'm present. So we're going to ask them first mm -hmm. if they're okay with us and with me coming along. Um, 
afterwards you can't force them to talk so i guess it's a we're trying to talk with the family the whole family get the the dynamic of the family first and then we'll have to uh, a one-on-one -on -one discussion with the, the young mom or the girl, the uh, pregnant uh, teenage. Mm -hmm. And if she wants to share information, that's great. If she, she's a bit reluctant, it's going to take time. And it's, it's not the one visit uh, work. It's more um, a work in progress. We're making sure we're building a strong and trustworthy relationship with them. And we keep going, asking questions, and at some point they open up or they don't, but that's up to them. I'm never going to force them to talk to me. Mm -hmm. There has to be base and consent. Yes. You have to consent your Absolutely. Rate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Biba, as the member of the assessment team, uh, what is your role? Uh, what do you do so far with regards to these case, cases that you have every week or every month? Thank you very much for having us again. My role as an assessment, head of the assessment team, my role is to identi identify families uh, that have been registered in the foundation, mm -hmm. to go to the families and assess about their situation. Um, it's a holistic assessment like Margo said. Mm -hmm. uh, we look at uh, basic, basic uh, the various aspects about the family, the educational background, the living condition, the health, and make sure that uh, everything is in place and also report back to the foundation and see whether we have to support this family. Mm -hmm. So basically that's what we all as a as a thing. Thank you. 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 Thank Fees again in talent promotion. Communion Coba Hodil and Codeparele, Ajuma would job fee, then they know what I need. I'm Ben a topic. I'm a solo, Luca Dalesi, a Fukuwa to Jurumia, Ben a Watu. I'm Jane and Yumpi, I'm a swing and not a way you are. I'm last week with Bella Pass and you won't name me. The water and a linga hamnaway, I'm Haling Hamidin, I'm Taylor and Bill, send down. Because you need teenage pregnancy, come away, I'm seven Bella Pass. Jin sun ko wehe mo endau pregnancy na sun ko wehe mo am beer te din jis ne a fee a li ne kana fever bo ham ne bol ne kana jangor bo ham ne mungyo dal yun halay jigeni te a le bolegi din ko ne wahtane bol le bolegi ne kai le yun wahtane ko si beer farm baby am te lo na fok na ne kulo ham ne lo war la pas ki fever ni ki do me adam bo ne ka so fever esa da nga dem si hospital mi am pour ou doctor bi nga ham ne dina la mo na safara sa fever ni kon nak am jefe jefe bi nga ham ne mom la halay jigeni di jang ko andel a ba na torop am yu wahtane Ten at Am Umi, swing out and we finish one last week, and we finish our day. I'm now going to swing work in your set and I'm young, you can't be very warm. I'm young, send me in the same way. You may have a jury of common go ahead. Ninu Jiggies Foundation, when you was a help single teenage mothers. I'm so you are here, not my common Maria Manum go ahead. I'm Didi Malenda, you have the name said, then then be wrong. Well, I didn't gain a school and be wrong, gain a school. You knew you and your dimbal and your dims and family, the Watanaga. You see, a knuckle and I dimbal, they were a knuckle and your suffer alley, a problem. Then I knew I'm Kunyo Walam in Diva, a mom, not more head of the assessment team. Soon for you get a menu, you am Mago Beer, who put a member last the organization. So since you get a menu, you am Fini, Basil Monica President, the man, I'm Moy Duty Association. Ah, lagi nak dah mahu bayar di barat, mahu muah news, muah sun bokeh sosai. Hei, ni nyom temen di nyom buka ham lalai ni kadi wah tanya fi. Dah muah le nyom temen nyom ham lalai ni kadi discuss fi ter. Baru kau bagai mari umi, ane mari awak kalau sorok kau degi jangan kau degi. Tonya tonya bi na na jangan aku mai dah bagai. Karena aku nara nujan de lukun temila, nak aku mulu boleh beri aman si aku nak ni senang kau degi. Antara silo jam dua lom kena di dia mungkin walaupun dinding mui alam ke sana jom mencari sana tanya si si kono mata. Ebe siri suol kono emanda karamundo i bamal bi i la ululal bi jibe kawan yang mai mui makoi. Antara dua lom dekat tak i jibe kaji bi makoi lenya de puisi mudi kawan karamundo. Amu karamundo mandi parki makoi la jata kende ala karola ani la moya fon karola. Antara fon la dinding mui fon antara ulul tali fon pare. Ati nung bi mui alam ko. Amanda tu perdoakan mula kambano mui ekonomi yang ke, amanda tu dinding tu perdoakan. Baji beli ni ada ni nak media tu, nak tarik tema kambano ni family tema. Naji food kambano si responsible tu ni ada lepuk kat dinding ni mak. Ah, oh, basically, wala 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 nasi lodi bina. Thank you.
Aujourd'hui, on parle des cas de jeunes mamans enceintes et de jeunes mamans adolescentes. Et on voudrait aujourd'hui vous parler de la fondation qui aide, ce, qui aide ces jeunes mamans à se réintégrer dans leur famille et aussi à l'école et essayer de les aider à traverser cette épreuve qui est difficile. Mais c'est ensemble et c'est à travers une famille et de l'aide et du support de la fondation qu'elles pourront arriver à vivre une meilleure vie et à voir ça comme, une, comme un nouveau départ avec leur bébé. Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup. Thank you very much. Uh, nous avons Basile Tam, nous avons un bon qui est là. Pour nous, nous avons un bon qui est là. Je suis un bon qui est là. Je suis Mariama. Je suis un bon qui est là. 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 Je suis un bon qui est comme nous avons parlé de la santé, nous avons de de ni mo ci mi non ni tolam non bu nu bilam e kane man bu ri ngani sifam ya sana min ñam do man mi ku ñi la ku do kombi man ngol na mi kane bu ko nu ngol la man ya ci problème sel commune ba jeedo bu nu bilam ko ku ngol la mawram benan man ku lañ do ben école le reto ni école ci yo xane kane amang ko benan bi ni école bare en japp nangol la jo be nga metier nu ri benalo man ngol nu ram benalo bu na bi mi kangol la kayende o li o ciente ko rey me nu ngol ngol nu o sante na ñelaw be ka son pour be lan do en ja fam ye pok ngol ngol ni kat yi buroka ba ci le man ti ma bi ko cham woli tano sante ka sante nak woli ko ngol ngol en ja pok ngol ne ko cham ni law woli pamu ci kat po bu nu bi mi ko ngol na bu joomu to mag bu ngol no ram be lan ni law pour mana ngol na baj fa nga fola katu ko an ni law e baje fara fola ñekon en na rekan pok fu ci le fola duniya le eroto yana ni sante malaga malaga albarka basir sawah tan bi amna solo torob la min di batami lin fi wasi so se amna solo margo merci beaucoup so lol lu am am solo la parce que waxtan bi comme ni ko baxo de def rek parce que suñe am xale nga xamne wala ndaw yi nga xamne ben de tele tele bi am si si sen ndaw am tele go legi sa dañ de gis ne am suñ ci jele bi sen ndaw yalla def yalla may len sen bopa dañ am dom am ñu ci bari dañ gis ne duñ de delu wat school basi te fok na ne lo tamit benen febar la parce que dañ de wax ne waaw ah mariama de comme que mom yalla dogal na mu bir sen ndawang kay ki kay legui mom su ebo top ci am nampal doma bi su gisse gor dem sey waye am yen sen foundation bi ah lan ngeen ne kadi def ngeen ngeen gis ne am febar bobu non genne ngeen ko ci kay parce que am jigen hejna yalla les collègues, il y a des gens qui ont fait des choses. Ils 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 ont am legi yen ci sen foundation bi comme am la min deba nga wax am suñ mbok so sey parce que gis nañ ne sometime li su ami am dañ ñen de tie ci kër bi na ñom duñ delu wat school legi yen mata ngeen de def ba mëna dem ci kër ngeen convince wa juri ne ah mariama kat lu ko dal ni am mën na dal kene kon nak am dafa wara delu wat school ndax sey wa juri yo len de len fekka dañ de nangu ak nak ngeen de convince gay pour ya ko am na madi madi man ni ko am min ben jile ka abar ga bagge ah ka chalon dam man ni wulu la tema man ta ke forcer bari fa lan banko la loi bi jan mi yalon ko ay dinu ay ñanto di dinu la bu sitano karamu do adu chal mari o mu mu crime de banko ka ni koy di di mu ay di mu le soro ba ki ke na da na dia la o mu crime de banko ka so bu nga kay do le foy ko to ni à la règle, on peut être à 40 ans, mais on peut être forcé. Parce que ça, il y a des règles sur le cas de 40 ans.
kachalo ndo mo niti ma ko ina dakor ko a asirano ka mo ndo saina nal ka ta nyin subo ko no al kamin a a kaitu sifale an a samba is a dichar right a wala an nyin lu a nyin a constitution ka riyal on sometime fana ni a nyin lu a an ta ya di a a perin do sometime a ike miro ko ite ni a lafka ka a di ngol samba a ya a ha lu a to so obviously a na mi no wo fana ko ma ya ta ko ya fo mo mi be ni be ka a kom na ko nya ma ke forcer bare isalon ko ni ban ko domestic act ni ise 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 soro no so e ka ita ni le ko ni lu a le be ban ko la lu a lu a ko to ka ita ni ko bim nu de ila nyanto lon pour eda kar mo to ila nyanto lon e kana e ke ni do ni fudo ko to ni sawo ma sia so ndo lu ndo so da mo ne ke no ban ke forcer no la il faut ne si c'est que ni c'est que tiens le fond n'est d'accord quoi il le yon faut tout yon c'est c'est n'a ben pas de problème um basi rebe terek a ko societe ni a turi organization de sebo pa a mugine ka help single mothers foundation a dafa hana dafa ne kan ne ko halay jige ni renya na di bare wala halay bu gor bi tamen de ngen ko de mo na di bare waaw mi sama olof bi set way xamna na di bare waaw ko yobu ci jowa ala la mi toy mo na ko fi waaye mo na ko watam ci no olof tamit pour suñu mbokki olof bi tamit mo na ben ci di may ne ka di wa Um, lina wa ñu suñu dimbalé nekku né xalé bi rek the focus will be on the girl child moy xalé bi jigen bi waye di nga gis né no ñaari famille bi waaw ma ñaari famille bi yépp dañ né dal parce que bo sété no ma yaaji dina ci bénéfit raké ñi fa nekk tamit dañ ci bénéfit ma pap ji tamit dañ ci am na walam tamit ci walu xalé bu goor bi tamit dañ ko dé engé parce que dañ dé bëgg mom tam mu jël son responsibility parce que no dal ka ñi li amna ba paré kay waye mom tam du taw ful no lo xam bi mu na né ñalé dañ mëna def lépp motax dañ dé ci na wi goto dem ñu wax ak ñom ñu sét tamit sam tan ka dem fété xalé bu goor mom tam fu mu nekk ni preso ba ñi xay because no we some cases you will not imagine da nga fekk xalé bu goor bi sa di la né no no the best place for me is either the prison or wala ma dem xaruni loolu mom mu am nañ ko xalé bi ni la tok xalé bu goor bi wax ñu ko so di nga gis né mom waaw li dal nako way yaaji ci bopam mo nekk di prison boy bi euh be boy bi at the end mom ci bopam sax mu dem di deny té xam na né mom moko dem kon amna solo pour ñu waxtan ci ñaari famille yépp euh loolu mom dañ dé laal ñaari famille ñu xalé ci ah légui bété rek soko sét lo tamit xana dafa né tané comme um xalé bu jigen bi la su dé génn na school yeen ngeen am jonus ah like da ngeen am ñu leen dé jox fondin pour ngeen délo xalé bu ñuñu le school wala yeen seen own xalis ngeen a use wala da ngeen a advocate rek for the for high right to go back to school ban ngeen ci dé rek waaw suñu ma luñu bëgg moy euh xalé bi nak delo school waye bo gisé ñun fondine bi amagu ñu ko euh fu mu tollu ni ñun intro bi dañ dé contribuer ku nekk 50 dalla 6 euh bé bala magu ni ñew mom bu mu ñëwé mom mo ñu nekk di dimbalé ci walu no dépense bi passe bi euh comme semaine bi wër bu nekk dina am dara lo xamné loolu la dé ñoo fawé ni suñu bi pour suñu démak ñoo bi tamit mu mu na yom mu am tamit benn famille bo xamné ni mom issue bi tamit ñun seen issue bi very pathetic mom mo nekk di len dimbalé fu mu tollu ni mo nekk di len dimbalé yépp ci fiidin xale bi ak fami bi ñoo dund ngir sami ci bopam mom mo ko defé waye nekku ne ñun loolu lañu def waye ñun luñu bëggoon bu fekke ne fami bi ci bopam dañ mëna jël charge bobu pour ñu yobbu xale bi ci school bi loolu moñu gëna waye bu fekke ne ñom mënuñ ko tamit ñun nañ sét ñun ak fami bi yépp ñu ku nekk na dugg jéna pour ñu sé naka la ñoo yoni xale bi back to school luñu bëgg moy xale bi na dello school at all cost waaw nekku ne ñun dañu am xaaliss bu tegg ba paré waye ñun dañ dé contribute mota kep ko xamné mu ngi ci biti wala mu ñu sétanté bëgg tamit dimbalé ñu tamit mu nañ ñoo tamit because uh, uh, one successful story we have um, xalé bu jigen bi parce que ñu ni wax nañ ko le ñaar yombé ñak yoon euh dimanche bi passé ni dañ fa délu ñu fekk xalé bi ci bopam mo dem ci school bi register wow wow mo dafa dem ci bopam register because the family did not have the trust in her why she went back and register mu jëndal bu ko bu ko bu ko si moko jëndal bopam légui uniforme bi benn xarita moko ko jox légui ñun buñ fa aagé yaaji mu ñu do mu ñu do wax né mom bété yi trust xalé bi way ñun luñ ko doon discourage mom bu mu use such words on the child comme ko xalé bi dem na bay jël step bobu mom nako jappalé ci ay cadeau yu rafet mu ne pousse xalé bi mu dem famille bobu am nañ mu nañ ko fayal school fi ñun légui fu ñu 
So Thank what where we are coming support. here is to give the psychosocial support mm -hmm. uh, as far as the girl that herself has come up and then she's now going back to school. That's a successful story so far. Congratulations. Yeah. You did a round of applause. Yeah. You're doing great. But the right model was the deba. I found me can be busy to narrate na bena story bena nam. Why bukan nata men ngawah ngawahinu? For me, ata cases ngan handul. Ah, nata ngan ko handul leda. Ah, cases hal na hal na hal na nyobari. ตัวมันยิงกันเคสโอลิเซียร์ตัวมันยิงได้แล้วบุคคลนั่นตัวเพราะไรน่าว่าเต็มเป็นนิสิกส์เลเวลดูโกลาฟูนิสิกส์เล
they don't talk to each other. So they, they're going through puberty, menstruation, mm -hmm. and relationships sometimes, and they don't talk about it. It's supposed to be very taboo, mm -hmm. and it doesn't help. Sure. It really yeah. doesn't help. So mother has a big role in this. Mm -hmm. It means the, the chain of communication yeah. is very weak in the family. Sometimes, no. okay. especially for that specific subject. Okay, mm -hmm. <laughs> thank you. Uh, just, uh, Diba, do you have any key partners, people that you are partnering in order to achieve all these things that you're doing? Um, key partners, uh, no, not yet. Mm -hmm. um, yes, we are directly, we are partnering with, uh, with parents but because we see we see to that parents want to be seen as partners, partners in the welfare of their children. children. So uh, we are working with parents together to help the, to, to achieve uh, this welfare uh, with their children. But I think uh, you will also want to partner with certain organizations, I think, as well. Yes, of course, uh, that's in the pipeline. Just yesterday, uh, the PRO was at the social welfare, okay. and then he gave me the feedback yesterday in, uh, in the evening. And the social welfare, of course, uh, tell us, uh, tell him that you know, what we need to uh, provide in order to go and then uh, have an MOU with them. Also, there is uh, another organization called the Welfare Hub. They already want to absorb us also to work with them, uh, but uh, that work also will not be in a way that will kill our organization. Our organization will continue to focus on the area that we are doing and then to go as an organization. If we are to register with them, yes, if they have activities in which we can take part, participate, we will go and then participate as an organization. Mm -hmm. But our organization also will remain as an organization and then we will continue to work as Help Single Teenage Mothers Foundation. Okay. Yes, Basil, um, you made mention of uh, one very important um, point. You made mention about um, sex education. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, when it comes to sex education, this is something that we intend to sideline again. It's mm -hmm. another issue. Yeah. Uh, of itself. Yes, of, it, of itself. And uh, so, sometimes when you mention this, at the, because during uh, my primary school time, I can remember that we did um, okay. something like pop FLE, population yeah. and family life education. education course, but yeah. right now, that is no more happening in our school system. Mm -hmm. So don't you think it also it has contributed to the education? To the great number of teenage, um, uh, teenage pregnancy in our country. Uh, wh what do you think? Oh, and what is the foundation doing towards um, that? Uh, are you people, um, during your session that you're having with the family, mm -hmm. are you also trying to use that opportunity to talk to them about sex education mm -hmm. too? Oh, and then are you going to school to do a school sensitization? Sorry. Um, to start with the family, yes, uh, when we talk of uh, sex education, we, because of the, uh, our culture, we mm -hmm. commit in a way that you know, they, we will come to reach to that point without offending any other person. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's just like what Margot said, we started from like, you know, discussing with them in uh, building trust among the children. Mm -hmm. And how can you build that trust? Of course, you need to mingle with your children. Um, by the child have three to six years, of course, you start introducing the child who are your uncles and all those things. Mm -hmm. But by the time is, uh, the child is uh, nine years or so, you will start discussing the child about uh, possibly puberty. Mm -hmm. Maybe in the next three years or four years, you'll be you know, seeing something and that will be in a kind of blood. But don't do no, no. Kind of yes, it. Of mindset course, yes. Of the so the girl will be prepared, and then of course explain. If you are not present, who should be there to help? Mm -hmm. If it is also outside, who, who should she be there to console? Mm -hmm. In that case, you know, if they see, it, they will not hide it, and that might also cause some kind of infection. Mm -hmm. So if the child see it, even in the, in the absence of the mother, they will come back to the mother and say, "What you told me some time ago, I've seen it." Mm -hmm. So that you know is another platform where the mother also could use to uh, tell the girl, "You are now entering a stage." where if you do this and that, of course, you'll get pregnant. Mm -hmm. So that's the way also we can enter into sex education in the family. Mm -hmm. So with the families that we have met so far, and then we discussed this to this point, uh, they agreed and they know that at some point also they missed their role or they did not play their role properly. Mm -hmm. And coming to the school is part of our plan. But just as I said, you know, uh, yes, uh, funding <laughs> is another thing. Yes, you are I going know. to reach the family, the, the schools, you need to provide some more resources or yeah, some materials. So you need all these things in order to reach out to the school. It's part of our plan. It's all in our um, uh, plan activities. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that is quite interesting. Uh, I'll just ask Mago, uh, where do you want to see the issue of teenage pregnancy, let's say in the next five years to come? That's a very good question. Um, I would say, I think you were mentioning the, the limited knowledge at mm -hmm. school mm -hmm. on, on sex education. I would say that's, you know, um, 
essential to have at least a program, mm -hmm. and if not at school, to make sure it's really something that's going on and implemented at home. Mm -hmm. That's that's something you could talk about. It may be less taboo, and it will get people to be more responsible as well, because when you know what are those consequences, you know, having a baby is not the easy thing yeah. you can have, especially when you're 16, so I guess if they could foresee that, they will be a bit more um, careful and responsible, so that's where we're, we're heading. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's quite interesting. And then uh, uh, you joining the foundation as a member, and then uh, uh, I've been hearing like the, the, the great work that you have been doing towards helping them. Uh, but uh, I, I, I want to ask Basil, uh, sometime uh, going to this particular family and then um, uh, providing them some uh, uh, not only psychosocial support and the like, but uh, also giving them some cash and some kind yeah. to, 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 to these um, young girls. Uh, uh, don't you also think that, uh, uh, how will I even put it, because, you know, in a certain I group, yeah, I thank you, in uh, a certain group, yeah, you. <laughs> you know, the moment you start pulling out money and they giving it to best. people, like, they yeah. think otherwise, and uh, you people are doing great by, because the foundation, every week, they make sure that they contribute $50 to the members, so uh, that is another worry that I have, yeah, yeah. well, do you mind if I answer this? <laughs> um, of course. <laughs> We're not giving the cash to the girls. Mm -hmm. We're, it's a discussion we have with the whole family on mm -hmm. how to process and how to have the best solution on those specific times. Mm -hmm. So we have this, can I talk about yes, the case? We have this very specific case where um, she's been a victim of a rape and mm -hmm. she is rejecting that baby. And mm -hmm. the baby lacked, you know, um, feeding, mm -hmm. not um, fed properly and um, there is this dynamic with the mom willing to support but having very bad condition at work um, she has very little time every time she l left the house she was very stressed about leaving her kid with the baby mm -hmm. and the kid is not having any interaction or connection with the baby so that's a very specific case where we said okay let's have um, a talk with the family and internally first to say how could we propose to help them for a short period, be just for the time for the girl to heal and to feel better and in place to connect with the baby, to finally breastfeed the baby as well. So we decided to give a bit of cash just for them to come back to common sense and uh, try to rebuild the, this uh, dynamic in the family. Mm -hmm. And then Lamine suggested, um, and it was a very great idea to help them get a small business mm -hmm. so she doesn't have to go back to the, the old job she had because she was earning almost nothing. So basically it's a little bit of cash for them to find, uh, for them to get the chance for a few months to build something stronger for the future and they know it's temporary and they know it's to build new skills so it's it's um it's still sustainable but i do understand your concern and we're very careful about that yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay like uh basil mm -hmm. with the issue of like trying to get ba uh, the girl to go back to school mm -hmm. um do you do any assessment like uh, trying to assess the skills of the girl, whether she is good at hairdressing, whether she is good at sewing mm -hmm. or so, mm -hmm. or do you just push her to go back to school, even if she's not interested, because you also have to look at her, mm -hmm. her level of academics. Of uh, if she can excel, if she goes back to school, which is mm -hmm. fine, mm -hmm. but you also, do you assess her, her strength and her weakness? Yes, uh, thank you for that question, because uh, when you talk of ed education, for us we are looking at it holistically, okay. um, not only uh, going to sit in the four corners of the yes, classroom. classroom. Uh, well, I can give an example of what happens on the, in one of the families, of course. Uh, the girl herself chose to go and then do this, you know, cooking, this cookery and so on, mm -hmm. but the family, the mother, want her to do something else. So when we went there, it's uh, kind of not the girl, this is what she want to do uh, in future, and the mother, this is what they want uh, the girl to do, this is, uh, this is what uh, she want the girl to do. So we told them that uh, we don't force anybody, mm -hmm. because you know, people always you know, excel in what they love to do. Mm -hmm. And then uh, these are all skills that are you know, very you know, good, and they can earn you know, a living. Mm -hmm. So if she choose to do uh, cooking, let the family support, and then we see also where we can advise her for her to continue with that. Mm -hmm. So at the end, uh, they have to 
agree to the, uh, to the girl and so on. So we don't push. We always tell them that, uh, not only to go to the class, but you can go and do skills and so skills. on. They are all part of education. What we don't want is for the girl to sit down without having any skill. Mm -hmm. It's what we don't want to see. Yeah, and then uh, after working on a case, and then uh, you've succeeded in the case, mm -hmm. do you also normally go back and do your, 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 your follow-up, that is the monitoring and evaluation? Because sometimes you just, uh, in some instance, we've seen people that you know, they, they will just handle cases and then uh, just forget about it also. So um, do you, uh, people do all, all that to make sure that even, or even if you don't go and do this uh, monitoring, but do you still keep in touch with each other? Yes, so far, no, no, this is uh, the example I gave you uh, a few minutes ago. Is uh, the, one of the successful uh, no, stories that we have because the girl is money to go back to school. But we are not stopping there because we'll be meeting the family time to time. Of course, we did not draw a plan here to say every month or every two months that we'll be going there. Uh, but we'll also give room where if the family need us, they can also call us to go and then uh, probably if they want us to discuss something with the girl or with the family they can also call us to go and then we, it's not going to be based on our own proposal that the family will be coming at this point of time and even if there is a problem going on there they keep quiet with that so that's not the, the case but uh, it's also something because uh, at the end what we want is uh, these girls that we're working with uh, they can be you know, automatically members of the foundation if they wish Sure. Yes, so that's uh, how. Okay. So that's yeah. why we will not want to leave them anyway. That was even the question that I want to ask. Okay, again. now I see. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> thank you for that because I think it's important. Make, even even though if you people don't encourage them to come and join the foundation, but I think they should also to realize that hence I'm um, someone have at least put an impact to my life. So uh, sometimes also it's good for you to give back to that community or that society. Mm -hmm. That is even if you don't join the foundation, but try to serve as a role model mm -hmm. in order to speak for the voice of the voiceless. Of uh, you also made mention of um, you advocating for teenage pregnancy and then you're trying to prevent those that are not yet injured. Mm -hmm. So what are the mechanisms mm -hmm. that you're going to use uh, because you know sometimes when it comes to the advocacy also, the approach method is very, very important. Mm -hmm. Sometimes uh, you, 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 you will go to a particular community and say, well, today we are here to talk about teenage pregnancy and, you know, parents, you should stop, you know, telling your um, children or you should stop saying that your children um, have no life again and so. You know, in everything that you are doing, uh, if you said that my amateur is important, if you go to a particular family today, and give them uh, the UNCRC, that is the United Convention on the Right of the Child, and say, this is the, this is the Children Act. It has banned that parents uh, don't have any right to stop their children going to school. Sometimes they will see you as a threat and say, okay, now you're coming to my own house and trying to tell me that I, uh, you're giving me an order. Well, so, uh, yeah, it is very, very important, and it can delay your cases sometimes. So um, how do you see the advocacy of, of so many youth organizations in the Gambia? Because sometimes the, the message that we, that we put in place is very, very important and the words that we use. Yeah. Mariana, we are still very young and then uh, we, will, we are open up also to learn we are still from energetic. all the organizations <laughs> and so on. So uh, for us, oh, yes, uh, we know that one of the key is to give the clear message. The channel in which we give the clear message also is very important, of which we will learn, of course, from other organizations that already have our experience in these areas, and people also who can advise on how to do about this thing. So that's why at the moment we are putting everything in order within uh, the foundation, and then trying to reach uh, to different organizations or different people where they should come to support us and uh, where we need to partner with them. So that's where we will get all this you know, information and also the strategies in which we can use. But we already draw our own, but whether it will be the best for community A or community B will now be uh, determined based on our experience. Of course, challenges will come on our way, but let me tell you, you need to move. Uh -huh. I just want to ask Margo, uh, uh, um, you've been the member of this foundation. Uh, I want to know whether um, when you were in the, is it Belgium? Or yeah. Yes. Uh, have you been engaging in the social activity like as we are doing as youth advocate? And right now, you've been a member of Health Single Teenage Mother Foundation. 
how do you see yourself in this foundation now? Are you going to live your life, your your organization, or you 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 you, you want to focus more on on uh, our yeah. and yeah? Um, so <laughs> <laughs> I arrived so last August, uh -huh. and I I started working with the, the foundation the last two months, I think. Mm -hmm. So it's very new. Um, I'm very excited. It's not what I used to do, so I was not engaged in such um, organization in Belgium or other country where I lived before. But I do work for children quite a lot, um, and I'm very concerned. Right now I'm working as a lawyer on transitional justice and in integrating children into the transitional justice system to make sure they're not left out. But so this is very specific, and this foundation, I choose it not part of my work, but as part of my own interests, because it's, um, I'm very passionate about this, mm -hmm. and I really want to support people uh, where I can and how I can, and I really wish I could, you know, be doing that, even if I don't live in the Gambia in the next uh, coming years, I'll be supporting the foundation, yeah. Mm -hmm. And you have to say that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lamin, uh, I did ask Basile whether you have any partners, but don't you think like partnering also the Ministry of uh, uh, Ministry of that is Mopse, uh, partnering with them would be Ministry significant. Basic. Yeah, in basic and secondary education. Yes, it is very important because we cannot do it all. But uh, partnering with uh, other organizations, but even to do even SOS could be an option. Okay. Uh, ch child phone is also in the pipeline. We will mm -hmm. want to partner with them. Okay. We cannot do it all, so. Partnering with these agencies uh, will be very crucial. Yeah, I think it will help to push your work, mm -hmm. and the the, the 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 communication will be more like stronger, so, and also so. the means of helping these teenage mothers would be easier. So. But Siri, do you have something to add on that? Well, I don't know how time is, but uh, we can still continue, mm -hmm. and uh, I can talk and talk uh, concerning this teenage pregnancy at the time. Um, uh, Honestly, when you look at this, uh, what Lamin just said, uh, we've already drafted uh, some uh, letters. We are yet to show it to the members, uh, or to some key members who are supposed to look at some of the documents and see whether we've drafted it in the right way. Uh, because uh, in the following week, we will be uh, disposing the letters to the regional health teams because of course we can get a lot of cases when we reach to the health centers and so on. And the health centers will only be willing also to report to us if they get the directive from their regional health team to the regional director. Uh, the regional of uh, West Coast One, the director of course is aware of the foundation and then he's waiting on our letter. And uh, Brikama also, the, the region there also, they are aware of the foundation and they are waiting of, uh, on the, this thing, uh, the letters from us. So some health centers uh, like Brigham Hospital and then Farato, they already know about the foundation and they are even pushing for us to report down there so that they can report cases. Mm -hmm. So Carnifying Hospital already know, they know because uh, we intervened in a short period of time and uh, that was in fact with the presence of even then uh, Abraham who was with us on that day. And then we did a very good intervention at that point and that was uh, the family that we are still uh, supporting uh, to yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, do you focus on the greater boundary area only or do also, because when you look at the urban area also, mm -hmm. they are also affected when it comes to this issue. Mm -hmm. And most of these advocates or most of these organizations that are in the Carnifee kind of municipal area, mm -hmm. uh, there, you, you realize that this is their area of focus. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we, we, we tend to forget about the urban area and there are also children outside there who need us most. Mm -hmm. Our wish is to cover the entire country, but <laughs> as of now, uh, we are, yes, uh, as of now we are limited in terms of resources and uh, passions, and that's why we are focusing between all the non uh, west coast uh, and then the greater Banjul. That's our area of intervention for now. But when you go back to the report uh, that was uh, given in uh, two years or three years ago by the uh, Minister of Health, uh, uh, saying that you know the. The phenomena is 18 percent, you know, clinic pregnancy 18 percent in the country. Mm -hmm. So, but the phenomena is two wise uh, in the upper region than here. Mm -hmm. So you can see, you know, they need our intervention uh, more than uh, mm -hmm. here. But uh, we have to start somewhere and then move. Yeah. So this is where we are starting, and then 
we hope we know one day or the other when we get the funding, we can also reach to them. I know people that are watching, uh, like uh, Lee Bantama show live here on Gambian Talent Promotion. We want to know your membership base and then how do you enroll people that are interested to join this foundation? Yes, um, for now, uh, we limited uh, people that are applying for membership because uh, what we do, because uh, this is an issue that has to do with sensitive uh, mama things. This is a sensitive issue, teenage pregnancy, We're going to discuss with families uh, concerning uh, uh, teenage pregnancy. So you don't know who is involved and who will use the, 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 the name or the information he get at what way, in which way. Mm -hmm. So that's why we limited our members. We are not up to 15 in fact. We limited our members like this, even whereas we are uh, having some uh, challenges in terms of funding. Mm -hmm. But it's better we limit and then be able to utilize the information the way we want to use it and reach the people. Mm -hmm. And so far, we look at the people that are interested and will want to push the vision and the mission of the foundation forward. So those are the people that we are inviting. But we invite also people that can play different roles in different areas, in different societies. So those are the people. And our membership, of course, is open to the people that we work with. Mm -hmm. For those people, they can come directly. But the rest, it will be based on invitation, not you saying that I want to join. But it's going to be based on invitation. But for the people we work with, you know, no, it's based on request. Okay. If they say that they want. It's automatically. Okay, with that also, what, uh, or, or who are the caliber of people you work with? Is it bankers? Is it lawyers? Is it uh, journalists? Who are the caliber of people you work with in your organization? The organization, the members, uh, they are from uh, different professionals, and uh, most of them also come again and then converge at the SOS to do social work program. Uh, you can see among us there are people who work in the educational sector, there are people who work in the banking sector, mm -hmm. there are people who work in the tourism sector, and there are people who work in the health sector. Mm -hmm. So you can see, you know, it's different people coming uh, to meet at one place. And then uh, thank uh, to God also we have somebody who can advise you in the area of legal uh, aspect, uh, like uh, Mago, who is also a lawyer, and a friend of her, her also is coming uh, time to time, who is also uh, a lawyer by the name Bram, of course, you know. Uh, standing down there. Uh, so these people also, they can be able to guide us and then tell us uh, this is what you need to do, this is what you need to do. So we are trying to look at uh, having people from different areas. At least they will bring what is happening there uh, towards the teenage girls. That's good. So now I will say, Margo, I will call you my worship. <laughs> because in law, uh, I think that is very important uh, because we need to know also what the law said about Mm -hmm. uh, issues that are happening. So, uh, Basilu, one other question that I want to know is, because when you look at teenage pregnancy, uh, it's all about girls. You mm -hmm. understand? Because uh, it's all about girls being uh, the victim of... Well, girls are the yeah. ones no, affected. Yeah, they are the, because they are the ones affected and they are the most vulnerable. Mm -hmm. Do we have perpetrators? That are, those are the people that uh, put it to them. Mm -hmm. But talking about teenage pregnancy, it's mm -hmm. about girls. So why you the men lead this organization? Because uh, we, we we've not been seeing like uh, any any lady apart from Mago. Of course. Yeah. So uh, why are you people taking the lead as men um, to to combat this issue? Um, I want to know whether is it only you people or is it only Mago in the organization or you have other um, members? Mm -hmm. And then why? I think women overcomers in the foundation, and they are playing a, a key role. When mm -hmm. you look at the secretary general is a female, mm -hmm. the vice president is a female, of course the finance secretary is a female, wow. and then you have you know, the assistant to the uh, uh, assessment team. team is a female, of course the deputy PR is a female, wow. you name them, you have a lot of them. <laughs> of course, uh, Margot, who is also a honorary member, also is a, a female. So, uh, of course, female dominated the male in this area, and uh, I can tell you they are very, very, very much committed in the work. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Um, also, when you look at the organization, I believe it would be important if you could, like, uh, 
invite uh, survival to be part of the, the organization. Mm -hmm. At least sometimes when you go out for sensitization, uh, they will serve as an example. Mm -hmm. They can give their testimonies mm -hmm. on mm -hmm. how they were able to overcome this. Sure. Mm -hmm. If they are there, because uh, sharing an experience is very powerful. Mm -hmm. When you share your experience, as you have gone through it, people learn it more and they tend to appreciate it more than someone who has not gone mm -hmm. through it mm -hmm. and just being there to do the advocacy thing. Yes. Um, I think that's uh, where I said uh, we are allowing these people who, are, who we are working with to be uh, coming directly as uh, members of the foundation. Mm -hmm. But if we also identify somebody who has been uh, a victim and then want to join us, of course, why not? Yeah, and also to, to, to have a very, very, very key role in the organization. Mm -hmm. Like in anything you do, she would be inclusive, or even the, the male too can be of part course. of the organization, mm -hmm. so that they can give their testimonies as example, as a source of motivation or inspiration to others outside there. Mm -hmm. That was a good idea. Yeah. And thank you for that. Yeah. Well noted. <laughs> well noted, of course. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Madam Lawyer. <laughs> so, uh, Basilu, um, I know we've been discussing a lot, and I think it's, it's very important for us to talk about it. Mm -hmm. Because I'm sure the viewers that are watching right there are yet still, huh? uh, they want to know more, and then uh, they, they, they never get tired when, when it comes to this issue mm -hmm. or watching about you, uh, or listening about uh, the things that you have highlighted, mm -hmm. and that uh, this is the youth band of our show. So uh, when you're going to handle your cases in the community, do you all convert together as a team, or you have Specific different people? people? Because uh, you have the assessment team and the like. So do you have uh, the assessment team who will go first, and then you have the other, the other, the members? Or you just do it at random? At the moment, uh, people are on voluntary basis. Mm -hmm. So and, uh, though they are committed, but you cannot get everybody within the assessment team mm -hmm. uh, in the same day. Mm -hmm. So uh, it will be very difficult if you want to leave it to say that the assessment team has to do this alone. Mm -hmm. And at this crucial stage, we want everybody also within the foundation to understand mm -hmm. what the foundation is doing so that tomorrow when uh, he's invited or she is invited to a platform, she'll be able to say something. Uh, although there are certain questions we can refer them to the specific people who are uh, running those areas. But at the moment, uh, I think we are bringing different people you know, people who have time to come and then we go into the, the community. Of course, with a sizable number, not that big number where the family they see they think, oh, there's a problem yeah, going on here. <laughs> so, of course, uh, we uh, limit the number and uh, the, the maximum of uh, sometimes five or six. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, we have different, you know, you engage the family, later on the, our women also, the ladies will engage the girl, mm -hmm. uh, like a uh, lady to lady, so that the girl also will be able to mm -hmm. talk certain issues. So that's why we go as a team. Uh, while they are talking to the lady, also the rest of the team with the head of the um, assessment team will now be going into this child's right issue to understand mm -hmm. what did the family understand about the child's right and uh, how are they supporting the child mm -hmm. and so on. There you see a lot of things you know, coming up, um, uh, different ideas or different in fact, you know, information being given. Mm -hmm. So in your next visit, uh, gathering all this information, you know now how to tackle. You know something is wrong somewhere or they are moving in the right track. So you know how to approach them in your next visit. Yeah. And that's okay. very important. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you know, sometimes when you go to these families, or you know, uh, our own culture, so I want to know, how do you find yourself or, uh, when you go to a particular uh, family and then you can speak Wolof. You cannot speak Wolof. Yes. Yeah. Oh, 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 that was my first question to Bashir. Was like, <laughs> does it make sense for me to come? Because I really want to. But do you think they would agree, or do they mind to yeah. have you know the stranger uh -huh. to back coming along? <laughs> and then he said, well, no, they, they're happy if you come because that means mm -hmm. that people are interested in sure. the issue, and mm -hmm. maybe you can bring on something different, mm -hmm. having other kind of questions. Mm -hmm. So, so far it doesn't seem to be an issue. If it is, I will step back, of course. Mm -hmm. um, it, they, they translate most of the thing to me. Okay. Um, yeah, I haven't got the time to class. learn. Okay. <laughs> but um, I wouldn't know where to start if I had to learn <laughs> which <laughs> language am I supposed to choose. Jola, Jola. I think okay. Jola will yeah. do more. And so, also, yeah. with regards to these cases, how do you ensure confidentiality and privacy? 
Well, first, we, we had that conversation the other day. We want to make sure those young girls agree that we come and we get in touch with their families because sometimes it can raise some other issue if the family is not aware of their... So that's first thing. And then when you go there, we ensure that what she, the conversation that we have with her is not shared with the parents okay. but um, and same with the parents. So sometimes part of the team will talk with the parents, the, the other part of the team will talk to the girls. Um, it is confidential because we need to build trust, we need to make sure if anything very serious happens or came, came up, we need to share it with mm -hmm. the, the parents in some There's cases. There's a limitation to yes. confidentiality. But for example, in another case, we asked her first if we could contact her dad because she had some issue with the dad. Mm -hmm. If she didn't agree, we wouldn't have done it, for example. Mm -hmm. So we do go by their willingness and their, and their best interest. Mm -hmm. And their best interest. It's, it's their life. So we're just here to help and try to coordinate and, and build trust among the family mm -hmm. or rebuild trust. Where we're, not, we're never going to be yeah. intrusive or, or pushing. That's mm -hmm. a rule I think uh, we all understood. Uh, Basil, um, come to that too. Uh, the same question that I asked Mabo, I uh, will go to both of you. Um, how about if you go to a particular family whereby they speak Karolinka and mm -hmm. you find yourself in that like, also bureaucratic period. Uh -huh. <laughs> so how do you able to do your communication? Because in that case, there will be a communication barrier. So how do you overcome? Or do you have some Karolinka school in the foundation? <laughs> I think for us even Pana Pana Sadia, because um, uh, yes, know, uh, right? we have a Karolinka there, we have a Manjago, we have a Jola, so we have all set so of people. So do you handpick these people or no, no, it's no, just no, no. by it's, accident um, uh, that it happened? Yes, I can say by, actually, oh, by recognizing their commitment and also the way they used to uh, do things uh, when you, uh, you call for something. So we recognize them based on that, and then uh, they are, of course, called to be on board. And when they are called, they are very excited, and they are doing a lot of things. Um, uh, yes, language barrier, of course, might happen. But in the Gambia, if there is a language barrier, there is no way you walk you know, two to three compounds without finding somebody who will be able to yeah. translate. But now the issue of you know, bringing somebody to come and translate uh, who is going to be that person and uh, where is that person coming, coming from? from. Mm -hmm. And why will the person get that information that we are working with that individual? So these are all issues that we have. But so far, I think it's only one case where we have uh, that, that uh, language barrier, mm -hmm. where we cannot speak the language that the People little understand. guy is uh, speaking, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, at least uh, the mother, who is also you know, uh, there with her, is able, we are able to communicate to her and then she can translate. So we are using the mother than bringing somebody outside. Mm -hmm. Even whereas probably the mother might hide certain things, but uh, we normally look at the uh, facial expression of the mother and be able to push her uh, to speak uh, yes, exactly what the girl said. So we try to build that confidence with the mother that it's important. She gave us exactly what the girl is saying. Yeah. Yeah. Important. Mm -hmm. uh, Right now, I'm learning with your organization. Um, do you have different people that are focusing? Because sometimes in an organization, you might have people that are good in um, 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 sewing, that some are good in carpentry, and then this goes on. Yeah, so do you in your organization, do you have people that are diverse in when it comes to skill so that um, they can help to do uh, the team? Um, yes. In my own opinion, I think we have to. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, but that, that is the, in the long plan. Uh -huh, to, to yeah. do that in the long plan. That, so right now, what we are advocating for is to get them back to school. Uh -huh. If there is someone who is willing to join it, but carpentry or any work, any, any yeah. skills, you facilitate. Uh, you facilitate it. Yeah. Okay, I think uh, we are running out of time, and then I uh, will just, uh, just ask you again. Uh, what advice do you have for parents who are outside there or victims who are outside there watching? What advice do you have for them in order to see to it that teenage pregnancy become an issue of the past? Um, it is a, a collaborative responsibility that uh, we will have, all have to hold. Mm -hmm. It is the responsibility of the parents, the society at large, to be you know to be responsible for for their for their children. Mm -hmm. Let parents be you know advising their children. Uh, with direct informations clearly and let them not hide anything, let them be collaborative 
in the uh, in the upbringing of their children. Uh, so it is a responsibility of all. Let let all take it as uh, as a woman. Only. So how about the, the victims? Uh, the victims also. <laughs> They have a responsibility toward their, themselves also. Okay. If given the proper information, okay. it's their responsibility to put it into practice and mm -hmm. you know protect themselves mm -hmm. to be a victim again or protect someone else mm -hmm. in the long run. Mm -hmm. yes. Now the same question goes back to you, Miss Margo. Uh, what advice do you have for parents who are outside there and also the victims or survivors of teenage pregnancy? Well, for the parents is to not shut their doors to make sure there is still communication within the family because this is very, very important and, you know, it's just a, a new challenge. It's just a new phase in, in your family's life, but it needs to go on. Mm -hmm. And uh, you, your girl shouldn't be punished, but make sure that the rest of the family is aware and learn from that lesson mm -hmm. and take, you know, the good action and responsibility out of it. Um, for, for victims, um, sometimes they're not victims, sometimes they are. Um, I would say just be responsible, just act knowing that every act has a consequences mm -hmm. and be responsible enough to talk about it, to take action, to make sure that if you do or if you are pregnant, to make sure it, it happens in, in the best environment and for that you need to discuss, you need to, you know, break the bridge and talk to your parents. Mm -hmm. Basil? Yes, I will focus on the area of uh, where it has happened, they tend to hide it and so on. I think uh, they shouldn't hold their kids back who are pregnant, at least uh, let them go out uh, to attend antenatal clinics. It's very, very, very important because some of them, when their uh, daughters you know, get pregnant, uh, they don't allow them to go out to go for antenatal clinic and so on, So, which can have a lot of complications during delivery. So it's better let them leave them to go and then have uh, direct contact with the nurses or the health professional. And there also the kids also will learn something because the nurses will teach them you know, on certain information that they can use also to protect themselves because we cannot uh, reach everybody. But it's very important that parents also you know know that these uh, kids need to uh, access health services. Yeah. Uh, well, thank you so very much to you all. As all of us said, but mm -hmm. uh, we are so much grateful um, to this foundation that is the Help Single Teenage Mothers Foundation. Um, to be honest, you people are really doing good and keep up the momentum and inshallah you shall surely get there. Um, uh, well, viewers, uh, this was your Youth Bantaba show live here on Gambian Talent Promotion. I was your host, uh, Maria Macham and Umu Jalo, and catch us live again on uh, next Friday. They're coming uh, from the hours of 12 to 1 o'clock, and we are going to discuss about another new topic, very interesting and very lively. And inshallah, we will be here next week again. We are saying bye bye.